Blowing hangover. You white ones look like you put it down for a nice too. Done poking around. Found a doll in Tamara's room. Tell me about it. <laughs> what could possibly be so interesting about a doll, Witcher? Looks like it might have been used for some sort of black magic. Where'd Tamara get it? Black magic? Are you barmy? I made it for her. She was four, perhaps five winters old. We were in Vizima on market day, and she saw the sorceress, Triss Merigold. Insisted she must have a doll just like her. Couldn't afford a thing of that sort, so I made the doll with my own hands. So it is supposed to be Triss. Yeah, I see it now. Eerie. Looks just like her. Doesn't it? Time's taken a bit of a towel, but overall, it continues to impress. You got something to fall back on if things don't work out with Nilfgaard. Found signs of a fight in the room. Know anything about that? A fight? What are you talking about? Someone was attacked. Probably your wife or daughter. Whoever it was tried to defend themselves with a candlestick. Missed the attacker. Punctured the wall instead. They tussled too. I don't know nothing about this. That night, I was drunk. Don't remember a thing. They were gone by the time I awoke. Doubt you were the only ones in the castle. Maybe one of your men heard something? Three times I asked those bastards if they'd seen anything, heard anything. Nothing! Not a one of them! Whole landing smells of wine. Tell me anything about that? One of the lads must be. Lushes, one and all. Give your men air Oh, damn it. I might have spilled it. I told you I was good and marinated that night. Was it matter? Stench of wine in plenty of corn around the castle. Recognize this amulet? Hmm. Yes. Anna began wearing it a time ago. Any idea where she got it? None. Any witches or cunning women in the area? A Pella. Old Coop lives near Blackbow. And there's a cunning woman in Midcops, but I know little about her. She's only recently arrived. If Anna were to see someone, she'd choose the Pella, not the woman. Anna was wary of strangers, newcomers. Ought to have a chat with this Pella. Fair warning, he's a hard man to talk to. Rumor has it, he killed his own father with an axe as a lad, then went batty. Now they say he sees ghosts and plows his goat. Not really interested in his hobbies. Just want to ask about the amulet. You white one, look like you got soused last night too.
been in there an hour already. Must be strangling a girthy one. Ever heard of preventive arse whooping? a new model, two-piece. What's gotten into you again? Wait and see. Just need to join these with the rivets, then clamp them loosely. Pieces will move freely then. How may I assist you? Looking for someone who can craft me some armor. Gotta be top quality. Well, I've been at it 20 years now. Mastered the craft in some respects, if I do say so myself. <laughs> you wish. Don't listen to her. She's been sore lately, snorting every chance she gets. So, what kind of armor are we talking about? Light, but durable. Can't constrain movement, and I gotta be able to get in it without anybody's help. <laughs> that all? Sure it shouldn't be self-cleaning. And how about it wipe your arse after you take a shite in the bushes? <laughs> Sounds great. Can you make a suit like that? No, but find someone who can and I'll gladly meet them. Ought to know one thing when it comes to armor. If it's got to be durable, it can't be light. It can. Just needs the proper tools to make it. Tools like the folk of Clan Tordoroch use on Undvik. Joanna, I told you time and again to stay silent when I talk to customers. Shouldn't pester folk with those nonsense Skellige legends of yours. It ain't legend, and it ain't nonsense. My granddad would go to Unvik for his armor. Said Tordoroch folk made the best. Till last year, that is, when a giant ravaged their island. Inhabitants either ran off or died, but the forge should still be in one piece. Worth looking into. Say I find the tools. Will you craft the armor for me? <clears throat> On condition you bring the tools. But only then. These legends mention where the forge might be? Yes. North side of the isle, in a cave. Clan folk carved out a rock face to build it. Look for the tools next time I'm in Skellige. Take care now. <laughs> Use some hair of the hound. Got any vodka? <laughs> Gonna kill the monsters? All of them. Geralt! Look familiar? My top. Where'd you find it? Siri's room. We'd play in her room sometimes. I was sad one day, and Siri carved it for me. Such a shame she had to leave. Thanks, Joanna. 
Thanks, great girl. Have fun. But I'm not playing. I'm helping. Oi, white knob. Got an ill look in your eyes. Ye seek trouble? Don't. It'll find you. What is it, grey boy? Blowing hangover. And this be the witch men, the freak of nature. <laughs> what do you say? Take more interest in things Set from my nose. Better than sitting around scratching our asses. assist you. Wouldn't mind a look at your stock. Wouldn't mind a look at your stock. So long. Ruffy 
things to a man. Looters, horses, all. Be as cocky once exactly the Baron's the men whip your arse. But two they left in the woods. Not willing to believe that. Nay, I'm not. <laughs> ah! We're lifeless. Move it. Can't seem to catch my breath. I think the smudger might have been choking me last night. The smudger? A ghost, you mean? Too much hooch. That was right. choking you. Mm. The work my man's got, eh? Not half bad. Brought him a bucket of peelings yesterday. The Would you go gather us with me? He's not scared. Maybe Baron finds so. out stealing food from um, the pigs. Oh, maybe no. no. <coughs> <coughs> Their asses whipped like a nobody rad whore. You surprised? They tried to dance with a witcher. Where'd he come from anyway? Well, how should I know? You so curious? Ask That's it, Roach. Woman. What's wrong? To their night blasphemers, pox taken, profane the shrine to Verna the Merciful. Shrine's gotta be repaired, else Verna will take umbrage. Her cows will croak, kitties will be covered in warts, and our dogs will get the mange. Warts and mange? Sounds dangerous. Fine, I'll help you. have sent ye to me someone to repair their shrines from this day on 
Look, already got a trade. I'm a witcher. Restoring traditional roadside structures in wood? Just not my specialty. Fight an evil? That's a witcher's calling. And vandals are worse than beasts. Fine. I see any damaged shrines, I'll take care of them. Won't go out of my way, though. Nothing's out of the way in these parts. And the gods will guide ye. You look awful. Come on, Roach. Ye seek trouble? Don't. Deserves to hang. Nah. Hanging's over before there's any pay. This cocksucker's got to suffer. We'll stuff him full of that shite he told Edric to eat. Let him blow his guts out of his ass too. Plowing hangover. What? <sighs> hey, look. Some strays wandered our way. Sod off, freak. What do you want? Want to talk to the Peller? Too late. We've got dibs on a chat with him. A long one. Get the hell out. Now. <laughs> and here I thought we'd have a day without corpses. Herb Majors pay top coin for the special bits of rare creatures. Wonder how much we'll get for his eyes. All together! Go on, go Stand on. still, damn it! friends all worked up.
Hey, anybody home? Open up, it's safe now. Devils, who do they bring? What seek ye? I need your help. Oh, a man, nay, a wolf, grey, though not old. Tis he the peller awaits. You were expecting me. I, as the bones declared I should. They shall come whose stench is rape and death, but the wolf shall disperse them, the white wolf. And thus he comes. Omens never lie. Recognize this? Made of spruce wood, strong smell of juniper, designed to protect someone. Freshly cut spruce sprinkled with goat's blood, then tempered with an incense of earth, smoke, and juniper. For Anna, to protect her. You make the amulet? Aye, sure it was the Pella. After the way of his forefathers, over still water in the light of a full moon. Proper as amulets go. It protected well. Should never have taken it off. So, designed to protect her. From what? Oh, the dear. Uh, besieged she was, evil all around, wanted to possess her. Old magic, born of oblivion, from dark sources emerged. Old magic? Can you be more specific? It is not for mouth speech, nor for the touch. A small protective charm, not a thing more a Pella could do. Anna and her daughter are missing. Know where they are? Nay, no, nay. Pella don't know, but the spirits could know. The Pella will augur, the spirits ask. Spirits? Great. Fine with me. Long as I know where to look, where to find them. Lost, lost, must be found. Princess! None better than princess for finding things. Princess? Which princess? Princess! My goat! She's fled! Those men must have scared her off. Can we get back to the auguring? Without the goat? Impossible. No goat? <laughs> Won't work. <sighs> Will you help me if I bring the goat back? Princess! Princess! Where have you got to, girl? Fine. I'll get your goat. The bell! The little bell's ringing. She loves it. Ring, ring, and she will follow. But for a while. But beware of wild strawberries. Raspberries, too. Yeah, treacherous as beasts go. I always keep an eye out for them. This way, I think. Another clue. Good. Another clue.
good. This way, I think. Another clue. Let's go see the beller. Should have guessed as much. What's a witcher compared to a patch of wild strawberries? Come on, damn it. Do I really have to keep ringing this bell for you to follow? This way, your grace. you go.
I really have to keep ringing this bell for you to follow? You're no roach, but I bet we could be friends in time. You've got that all-important quality every roach has to have. You don't talk much. Princess! Flee not from the fella, for there are wolves about. Goat of mine, dearest, sweetest goat. Happy for you, but I'm kinda in a hurry. Anna and Tamara, they might be in danger. The White Wolf helped the Pella, and so the Pella shall help him. Blood. We need blood. A living being. Fine. Be right back. this do Mentioned a child. Whose? Why, Anna's. Anna was pregnant? She was. And she miscarried. Hmm. Baron didn't mention it. Afraid, perhaps. Or ashamed, or forgetful. Or perhaps he had no wish to remember. Anna tell you all this? Did she come here after it happened? Nay, nah, not Anna. It was the omens told me. Great, so I can be sure it's true. The omens need not your faith to be true. It is you who needs the omens to lead you to truth. The Baron have anything to do with his wife's miscarriage? Foul-tempered he is, and he's a fondness for Hooch. No doubt makes his temper even fouler. Did he abuse his family? Anna came to you, you must have noticed something. The Pella's old, near blind. But Princess came and licked her hand. So what? She's a wise beast. Only comes to those who suffer. What happened to the child? In a grave throne. Without rite or ceremony, it awoke. Now it wanders. It seeks vengeance. A botchling. 
White Wolf, Wise Wolf, catch the Botchling. The Botchling will help lead the Wolf to the loved ones. Botchlings suck the blood of pregnant women and eat their fetuses. They don't help. Tis a being cursed, and witches lift curses. If the White Wolf can't lift it, he should bring me its blood. Blood will always find kindred blood. Heard of one witcher who lifted a botchling's curse. Never tried it myself, though. I know you need to bury it under the threshold. And give it a name. Perform the I'm Roin. The ritual of naming? That's an elven custom. Human, elven, dwarven, ancient. Spirits have no race. They honor not its meaning. Win a spirit's favor, and the spirit shall aid you. Ask, and it will answer. Seek, and it will show you the way. Why do you want its blood? Blood, blood, blood. It binds men for all ages, the living and the dead. Sure, but what do you want to do with it? At times, a century is too short for two brothers to reconcile. One dies before things are set right. The other then brings his blood to the Pella. Mm -hmm. And what does the Pella do? He awaits forefathers' eve. He mixes the blood with milk, herbs, and hen's feet. He drinks. <laughs> to reconcile the dead with the living. There shall be no forefathers' eve this year, but we'll find a way all the same. I hear you right. You mentioned forefathers' eve. Pretty old custom. Thought it had died out. Death lurks in every bog and puddle round here. Folk know they could die, their earthly matters unresolved. Then they require help, or they'll not know peace. Forefather's Eve must be performed. Light the tallow candles to lead them through the dark. Call them by name, appease their regrets. Only then may they depart in peace. Whatever I do, I gotta find the botchling first. Seek it at midnight, near the grave that lies empty. If what you say is true, the Baron ought to know where that grave is. 